Hi everyone, this is Vamshi Krishna, AGBSC third year from Agricultural College, Jagityal. Today we are going to discuss about male sterility. What is meant by male sterility? Male sterility is nothing but non production of non functional pollen grains with functional female gametes. It is called male sterility. This male sterility is helpful in the cross pollination. Cross pollination and uh, in olden days for hybrid for development of hybrids the emasculation is to be done emasculation is a time taking process and laborious so instead of this if we use the male sterile lines we need not to go for emasculation so in this mask uh, in this male sterility this male sterility can be sporadically occur and it is rarely occur due to the mutations and it, it is of three types genetic male sterility cytoplasmic male sterility and cytoplasmic genetic male sterility now let us know about each of these now firstly let us discuss about genetic male sterility genetic male sterility is nothing but genes genes which are present in the nucleus so nuclear genes which control the entire cell and these genes govern the male sterility in this type of sterility and it is usually a single recessive gene that recessive gene can be denoted as small ms and use uh, and rare, rarely it is dominant in case of safflower and it may be spontaneously it, it it may occur spontaneously or artificially induced in the crops and uh, let us know how it will be inherited small ms small ms it means two recessive genes so it is male sterile line this male sterile is crossed with heterozygous male fertile then this progeny would be male sterile and male fertile 50% male fertile and 50% male sterile it is of 1 is 1 ratio production and now if homozygous dominant male fertile and homozygous male recessive then it gives heterozygous male fertile progen and if we cross the heterozygous male fertile into heterozygous male fertile then we get the progeny of male fertile homozygous male fertile heterozygous male fertile and homozygous male sterile in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 1 male fertile male fertile and male sterile and in this uh, when we go for hybrid seed production we have to rogue out the male fertile progeny in the male sterile progeny it, male sterile progeny it is nothing but the female line female female line so in case of female line there should not be present any pollen shedders nothing but the male or fertile lines so the fertile lines should be identified and rogued out the uh, fertile lines can be identified through marker genes pleiotropic effect or phenotypic characters based on the marker genes or closely linked genes uh, to the male sterile genes in case of maize the hypocotyl color if it is a pigmented and it produces the sterile uh, the hypocotyl of the maize is pigmented the progeny is sterile male sterile lines and if it is green color then it is fertile so we have to identify the hypocotyl color and if it is green we have to rogue out the male fertile progeny and based on the phenotypic characters or the pleiotropic effect pleiotropic effect means one gene controlling many alleles and next one gms uh, and gms can be uh, used in different crops in USA they use it for the castor and in India it is used in the 
red gram and uh, it can be used in different crops like tomato cotton sunflower cucurbits and many other crops and the drawbacks of this genetic material it is it may be the, uh, it, it is influenced by environment like uh, it is photosensitive genetic material it is or thermosensitive genetic material it is so based on the temperature and based on the photosynthesis uh, light period the genetic material it varies if the temperature uh, rises greater than 23 degrees celsius then the male fertility will be restored in case of rice and the another one is drogging out of the 50% male fertile lands is very difficult thing so it is a drawback of genetic materiality and now let us move into the cytoplasmic male sterility cytoplasmic male sterility it is governed by the cytoplasmic genes now let us know about the cytoplasmic cytoplasmic inheritance right cytoplasmic inheritance is nothing but inheritance of cytoplasmic genes cytoplasmic genes is also called, also known as plasmon plasmon these are present uh, in the plasma genes plasma genes are plasma these are usually present in mitochondria and chloroplast chloroplast gene can be indicated as cpdna mitochondria mdna the chloroplast uh, in case of maize the cms lines or cytoplasmic male sterility lines are due to the mitochondrial dna mitochondrial dna and the chloroplast dna are present in the cytoplasma and these are inherited from the female parent female parent to the progeny so it is called as maternal inheritance or cytoplasmic inheritance so next next let us let us move into the cytoplasmic male sterility if the male sterile gene which is present in the mitochondrial dna or chloroplast dna it is inherited into its progeny so the male uh, the male sterility will be transferred from female parent to the progeny and the cytoplasma usually the cytoplasma for the zygote is come from the egg cell it means mother and uh, the cytoplasmic genetic male sterility is governed by the same uh, like cytoplasma cytoplasmic genes and the restorer fertility restorer line may be known and now let us know about in detail about cytoplasmic male sterility cytoplasmic male sterility is either due to the mitochondrial or chloroplast genes mitochondrial genes in case of maize uh, if you see that f1 progeny this male sterility can be denoted as this is a nuclear genes and this is sterile and crossed with fertile progeny female and male then we will definitely get the sterile progeny f1 hybrids are always sterile so if we use cms lines for the seed product seed producing seed is the economic part for the different crops so if the seed is the economic part if we use the cytoplasmic male sterility then it is useless because the f1 are sterile progeny and it does not produce any yield so it is used in case of ornamentals and vegetatively propagated plants like onion fodder zoar cabbage palak and another crops and now let us know about in detail uh, male sterile progeny crossed with the male fertile then the f1 hybrid should be how the male sterility is transferred from how the male sterility is transferred to the progeny that is due to, through the back cross method and it is how to maintain the 
male sterile lines it is the back cross firstly we have to go for male sterile cross with the male fertile we get male sterile progeny and this male sterile progeny now uh, first we have to know about the back cross what is meant by back cross back cross is nothing but crossing with f1 hybrid crossed with any of one parent either recessive parent or dominant parent now let us take this example capital t small t crossed with capital t capital t or small t small t it is known as back cross here you can see male sterile progeny came in the f1 hybrid male sterile progeny and it is crossed with the male fertile then 50% of the nuclear genes from the strain b is transferred into the male sterile a line and then again it is crossed with the male fertile progeny strain b and uh, then 75% of the strain b nuclear genes are transferred into the a strain and it repeated back crosses up to b back cross 6 or 7 then around 9 more than 99% of the nuclear genes are transferred from strain b to strain a then in this uh, in this way we can maintain the ma male sterile lines and now let us move to the cytoplasmic cytoplasmic genetic male sterility it is similar to cms except the nuclear gene which restore the fertility is known for these lines and now the restorer gene is always the dominant and it is represented by capital r the examples for cms uh, crops are wheat maize jowar rice bajra sunflower and many other crops and now let us move in detail into the cgms the male sterile the nuclear genes are smaller smaller it is sterile and the cytoplasm is sterile and the nuclear genes are recessive sterile and if the cytoplasm is fertile in this case the cytoplasmic genes will from the female parent enter into the progeny so the sterile female so progeny is sterile and then recessive nuclear genes and sterile crossed with the dominant uh, restorer or fertile genes it dominant uh, fertile genes it may be uh, if the cytoplasm may be sterile or fertile then it uh, then the progeny is uh, capital r small r heterozygous male fertile and now if the heterozygous male fertile is crossed with the male sterile Uh, recessive nuclear genes sterile heterozygous male fertile with fertility or uh, fertile or sterile cytoplasmic genes then it produces equal male sterile and male fertile progeny heterozygous male fertile recessive male sterile progeny and this this can be used as a three line system in case of rice so a line uh, b line and r line r line is nothing but the restorer line a line is the male sterile line b line is the maintainer line a into b we get the a line so b line is a maintainer line which maintains the a line uh, a and b lines are isogenic except for the gene of fertility and then a into b gives a and a into r gives hybrid b line is the crucial thing for maintenance of a line it is a industrial secret b line is a industrial secret and different genes which govern the male sterility in case of different crops uh, rice in case of rice it is wild abortive ab gene and in case of maize it is texas gene in case of sorghum it is combined coffee in case of palm millet tifton gene and in case of sunflower it is helianthus petiolaris and in case uh, and another male sterile line is helianthus giganteans giganteans Thank you